All right, Sai Yusuf students, I am downtown. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day in Florence, Oregon. And we are at the Florence Regional Arts Alliance Art Gallery. And we're gonna step inside and check out the Fiesta Cultural exhibit um, sponsored by our folks and friends in Lane. Here we go. Okay, and I'm here with Kristen, the president of the Florence Regional Arts Alliance. Would you introduce yourself and then tell us all about the exhibit? Sure, I'm Kristen Anderson, and I've been part of the Art Alliance for seven years, uh, which is a wonderful place to celebrate art and artists, um, uh, no matter what age. Uh, so we love it here. Um, so what this exhibit is, is that we wanted to celebrate the Latin culture. It's something that's been going on in Eugene for about 10 years, and with the help of Lane Arts Council, actually them spearheading it, uh, they're the ones who kicked it off, got a grant for this, and we brought some artists from Eugene over here to just sort of kick off getting this started. And we're hoping over the years that uh, uh, we will find people in Florence who want to participate, show their art, dance, music, whatever, um, and be a part of the uh, celebration of Fiesta Cultural. So that's what it's called. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on the flyer. And this has been a month long um, exhibit of different sorts all over town. Um, so there's more that has happened in the community than just the exhibits here. Um, but why don't you go ahead and tell us about some of the individual artists that we're gonna take a look at. Okay, so the, the, one, the exhibits that we've already done is uh, at the library, we have what's called Dem Arts, um, and we had a couple different artists there that were exhibiting what they could do. We had printmaking, leather making, and a chararia, uh, if I said that right, exhibit um, with a gentleman and his full charo attire, which was wonderful. Um, the other thing we had is we had the uh, honor and pleasure of having a mariachi band from Springfield High School uh, come over and they played here. They played at the Boys and Girls Club and then they went to a high school football team which was actually wonderful as well. And it got a lot more people involved as we wanted um, more people to be able to see it where they didn't have to go someplace, we would go to them. All right. Okay, so the first artist that we have here at Florence Regional Arts Alliance is Bella Beads by Diana. And she makes these beautiful earrings where she puts a lot of work into beading them. And she's been doing this. This is a, um, something that came from her heritage. This is part of what she did growing up. Uh, and she's continued to make them. Uh, so we, uh, it, it's been fun to have them here. People love the bright colors uh, and uh, you know, kind of seeing the intricacy of them because it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work doing that seed bead work. Okay. Okay, so the second artist is David Placencia. He is another artist from Eugene and uh, he does a wide variety of art over there and he actually teaches um, art over there as well. Two of his pieces are right now on display at Oregon Pacific Bank. Um, and those two pieces are larger and they were used for mural art. So he also enjoys doing mural art. But here we have a few of his pieces on display, um, a lot of different styles. So he brought us a little bit of various different styles. One interesting thing is that David's mother used to be a Florence resident. Uh, and, uh, and so he's got the connection, which is why he really likes our bridge here. Um, so it's been an honor to have him here. Another thing that's interesting about David's art is he likes to paint things that look 3D. So he left us a couple of these plastic 3D glasses where when you look through them, you could actually see the 3D effects and how he's painted it. But he was also explaining to me um, that it's not so hard for you at home to try and paint 3D. It's all about layering, where you start with the dark colors in the back and then you bring the lighter colors out toward the front. And then when you look at them through a pair of 3D glasses, it's got that 3D effect, which is, uh, you know, everybody's been wearing these glasses all over the gallery. Um, I had the opportunity to try on the glasses, students, and this particular piece named Nebula definitely really popped. Um, and then do you wanna say something about, uh, we looked at some of the other pieces in the gallery that weren't intentionally painted in 3D fashion, 
but some of them also pop with the glasses. Exactly, which is why people have been wearing them all over the gallery, kind of checking all the different pieces out where an artist didn't paint with the goal of being 3D. It's just flowers or, uh, you know, um, uh, just random artwork. Uh, but yeah, it really pops with the 3D glasses on. So it's very cool to see. Thank you. Okay, so our last artist is Rosio Diaz. Um, she does artwork in the style of Refugiado, uh, and sorry if I'm not saying that exactly right, but it was fascinating talking with her as well when she brought the pieces in and learning more about how she actually does the artwork. They're all her designs, mm -hmm. but she traces them on a piece of metal, and then through the back, she actually is slowly massaging the metal to kind of push it outwards. Then she puts a resin back there to kind of keep it solid, and then she paints it, and on some of them, she's actually um, kind of textured the, the metal as well. Um, and so I love the colors. She, she does things that mean something to her. Um, and so, so there's hearts in a lot of these. Um, one of them, this one here, she painted after there was some killings at a school uh, because it just called to her and she wanted to represent how it made her feel. Okay. So... Beautiful. Okay, so the last stop on our tour today is the Saiswa Pioneer Museum, where we actually have a Charo exhibit that we're going to show you um, as sort of a culture part. Um, so we've shown you art, now we're going to show you culture and art combined. Okay, let's head on in. Okay, so we are inside the Saiswa Pioneer Museum now. And this was the second big exhibit that we did as a part of Fiesta Cultural to show you uh, historical cultural Charo attire. Um, the, this is attire that they would wear for special occasions um, and uh, just to kind of dress up. Um, the three um, pieces of attire that are here, as well as the, the pull-up banners, um, are actually three of the individuals who were here in person at the uh, library as a part of Dem Arts doing Terraria and some of the other exhibits. So Jessica, Antonio, and Diane Dianara were here, and these are actually their personal outfits that they uh, um, wear. They had other outfits on as a part of it. Um, but this is just so people could learn what the attire looked like and appreciate it and see the intricacies of what they do and mm -hmm. customization. So like Antonio's has his A on there um, because that's his outfit. Um, and all of the different pieces that you see, um, I'm not supposed to touch, but the vest um, and everything are all, uh, you know, it's historical. Embroidery is. Yes, isn't it gorgeous? It's beautiful. Just like my mother is a seamstress and I do embroidery work. I just love the intricacy of the embroidery. That's beautiful. I'll zoom in on each one. So you said these were the same outfits that they were wearing? Uh, it's a second outfit. They second had a different outfit. outfit on that was just as detailed and just as beautiful. Um, and so I got to see them all dressed up and it was wonderful. Okay, gorgeous. And what a wonderful partnership between uh, the Florence Regional Art Alliance and the Pioneer Museum as well. And Lane Arts Council. Lane Arts Council and the Saisa Public Library. Yes, yes, yes. And I guess the last one that I want to do is thank Western Lane Community Foundation for the grant to actually make this happen. All right. Thank you. Okay, students, we are back at the Florence Regional Art Alliance, and I just wanted to give everyone a, a wide shot of the gallery and all of the beautiful creations inside. Um, and we're gonna head on over here and check out the youth exhibit and um, talk to Kristen about that and also opportunities for Sayusla students um, and showcasing your artwork. Yes, we always like to focus on uh, this wall specifically and some 3D as well on youth. Um, we're open, if anybody's interested, they can contact us and we will feature your artwork. We sometimes also, to the teachers out there, um, like to do like a, a class exhibit, so that's another possibility. Uh, right now we have uh, Abby Maldonado featured on the wall and some of her 3D, um, and then we have a couple other students work here who actually have graduated um, and uh, recently, just this last year. Um, but yes, it's lovely work, and uh, um, we actually also have a grant to help pay for framing. 
so oh. that's not an issue. We don't want uh, the financial part of it to be a burden for anybody. Um, and uh, and so, so if you're interested, don't worry about the framing. We can help you with that. Okay. Okay, so we just wanted to say thank you for visiting with Florence Regional Arts Alliance, exploring Fiesta Cultural with us, and seeing all the beautiful artwork that we have to share. And please keep creating yourself. It's so important and so much fun. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, and I'm sure we'll be back for a tour in the near future. Sounds all right. Bye-bye.